Tell us a little bit about your experience of Nature One. Uh, it's our first time playing the festival, and we got here, we saw all this production, and we were just blown away. Like, they did a great job putting the event together. The crowd is insane, so this is definitely one of the best events we've played so far. Yes, Bo said it all. We, we, we were in, uh, I was actually in the DJ office uh, earlier today, and I asked how many, uh, how many employees were working to put this whole thing together. And there was over 2,000 people working to make this happen. So as far as uh, all the clubbers go, you guys got to appreciate it. A lot of people working hard to make this happen. Yeah. Of course, in America, I think you have the uh, Ultra Music yeah. Festival. Is it so big or is not on the same size? I think, uh, I think Ultra Music Festival is all, almost the same size as Nature One. Uh, we're, we're actually, as, as uh, you know, New Yorkers, we're actually very impressed with how, how far we've come in such a short amount of time you know, to, to, to do festivals of this size. And uh, yeah, we're, we're very proud of, uh, of what Ultra has done. How the things are going in USA for trans music? Is it big or is it uh, is now getting bigger? Yeah, I, I, what do you think? I think it's about to blow up in the United States because America is the only country where trans still hasn't been fully exploited, in my opinion. And every time you go see the big DJs come, there's more and more people. A lot of people who, who listen to hip hop, you know, all, a lot of my friends know who Tiesto is, Armin Van Buren, Paul Van Dyke. So that, that definitely wasn't the case a few years ago. And I think that's just proof that dance music is finally starting to penetrate in the USA market. I mean, and it's, and it's, it's also great. I mean, you've got, you've got so many new acts now, like, like Lady Gaga and David Guetta who are, and, and, and Armin and, and Paul Van Dyke. They're all, they're all pushing the, you know, the music into the mainstream and on the radio. And that's just bringing more and more people into the scene. And it's just, it's just growing at a rapid rate. Of course, you have your releases on Bandit Records. Yep. And before that, you had your own labels. Tell us a little bit about this period of time before joining Bandit. Well, I, I, we started a record label a long time ago. And um, it, was, it was something we did as an, as an experiment. And we gave it a try. And now it, we're with Bandit Records. And it's uh, one of the greatest record labels on the planet. Yeah. So yeah. we're... The, the releases were successful, but you know, we're producers, we're DJs, and a lot of our time was taken doing the office, the business stuff, which is fun and all, but you'd rather be in the studio making music. So leave the, the record label stuff up to the record label guys. You know, right now, uh, Paul Van Dyke and Armin Van Buren, they, they, they did a new deal. So 50 people in the office can do way more than the two of us at home. Caught in the flame of a burning fire Do you want to let go? Do you want to go high? You've had enough Your heart's above This is a feeling you cannot name The future's always been the same The time has come album we did it was um, it was called night play and uh, it was a it was a combination of tracks that we had been working on for a couple of years uh, for us they were it was very melodic and um, now we're uh, we're actually working on a second album yeah. and uh, the plan for the next album is we're gonna put together 10 or 12 tracks that are all tracks that we will play live at every single at every single gig that we do and uh, yeah, that's the plan. It's gonna be the feel and Perry sound that you all love, but evolve. You know, we're not gonna go change our style now once we made our, a name for ourselves uh, and people recognize us for what we do. So, to answer your question, you just have to wait and see when it comes out. Okay. Tell us a little bit about the night play. Which tracks are your best? The ones that you think are having the best uh, acceptance from the audience? Uh, the two singles that we've done so far, Ashley and Soul in the Sun, have been ex extremely well received in the uh, in the audience and in the dance community. And uh, you know what, what, we, what we strive to do as producers, and when we when we work on the records, we strive to make songs that that are going to be me very memorable for people in the lyrics and in the music. And you know, I mean, that's what music's all about. It's you know, it's about grabbing that moment in time and having the music to associate with it. And uh, yeah, that's what we do. And going back, it, it's funny, with, for some reason with our music, we had 16 songs on our album. And if you ask 16 people what's your favorite song, you're going to get 16 different answers. 
for some reason that's 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 how it works with our fans and i think that's a good thing because there's, there's something there for everybody uh, of course you did a great remix for dan and day track and of course your remix was it was a bootleg everything oh. started as a bootleg yeah tell us a little bit about that we made the bootleg uh i think it's it's got to be almost two years ago we made the bootleg uh just just to play in our own sets and uh i guess armin van buren had heard about it and so we sent him the record and then he started playing it in all of his sets and then you know a, a year and a half later uh the guys at mondo decided to re-release it with, uh, with with some extra remixes but uh yeah, I mean, I, I feel like we are definitely partly responsible for the re-release of that uh, that record. We have uh, some bootlegs we've done also. It's a secret. We're trying to get them released officially. But we like to focus, we're focusing our time now on original material and, and trying to come up with the future classics that people in the future are going to remix. It's all coming back to me now. It's making its way back around. I'm asking forgiveness, my friend Just give me my life back again Uh, we're gonna have a we're gonna have a great blend of, of vocal tracks and uh, and definitely uh, edgy club tracks that that you know the, I mean the main goal when you, you work on a, on, on a dance track is, is you want the audience to respond and that's gonna be the uh, that's gonna be the focus it's gonna be a, a nice blend of, of vocals that people will be able to sing and it's gonna be a great blend of, of, of great tracks that get reactions How did you felt when you saw uh, the anthem released on major label like Positiva in UK and going really well all over the world. The anthem was an anthem. Yeah, it, I mean, you can never expect that kind of success. And the fact that we, we did have it was, it was just eye-opening and it was a great experience. Furthermore, to see dance music penetrate the top charts, you know, the anthem made the UK top 40. It was number one on the Billboard dance charts. So to see a trance song actually make it compete with big hip-hop artists and big rock artists and, and be able to hold its own ground I think that you know that really inspired us and it said you know there's a place for trance music in the mainstream so Eric uh, is going to be again a vocalist in your new album do you have your good friends with him and you want to work with him Eric, yeah, yeah. yeah well we've known Eric now for what three or four years and um, you know he's I mean he's a massive talent when it comes to singing when it comes to writing and He's definitely, again, one of the artists that we probably will work with, you know, for, uh, for more tracks on the album. Yeah, um, we're in the process of writing our music, so there's nothing finished yet, but I wouldn't be surprised if, if he was on a song, possibly. Okay. Uh, we're, we're back in the United States for a little while, and then after the summer we'll be back in Asia, Australia, around Europe, so... Big Room Sound. Yeah. What is that for? Uh, big Room Sound is... That's basically what we try to aim our productions to sound. Songs that will rock the big room, you know, festivals like this with thousands and thousands of people. And that's the name of our podcast, Big Room Sound. It's uh, bi-weekly. You can download it on our website. Uh, a lot of online radio stations broadcast it, and we're finally getting it to some FM stations. So. The DJ Mac Top 100 yep. list has started. The voting system, do you have something to say about the voting? Why do they have to vote you? Uh, why do they have to vote us? You vote. You vote for us if you want to vote for us. We're not. Uh, we're not going to campaign hard. We're not going to try and convince people to vote for us. If you like what we do, then vote for us in the top 100. Yeah. And even vote for us, even if you don't. I don't agree with him. Vote for us no matter what.